Hello dear learners, welcome to this video session for a parametric test that is Z-test. So in a previous lecture, I have discussed about the Z-test. Now today we will see the problems related to Z-test in this part 2. So let us start with the lecture. So as I have discussed in my previous lecture, these are the two formula to identify the Z value. So the first formula applies in case of infinite population and the second formula applies in case of finite population. It will get very clear by the example in which kind of question, in which kind of problem we have to apply which formula. So this is the problem one. Say for example, a sample of 400 male students is found to have a mean height of 67.47 inches. Can it be reasonably regarded as a sample from a large population with a mean height 67.39 inches and standard deviation over here is of 1.30 inches. So we have to test it at a 5% level of significance. Means here the number of sample is 400. Mean height means the mean is 67.47. This will be our Null hypothesis 67.39 and this is the standard deviation. It's a 1.30. So here we can apply the first formula. So this is the solution of the problem. Here our null hypothesis and hypothesized population mean is a 67.37. So it's equal to our null hypothesis. But here the alternative hypothesis it's not equal to this alternative hypothesis. Now we can say that given information we have that is a mean is this value. The standard deviation of population is 1.30 and number of sample is 400. So here we can apply the formula, the first formula. This is the answer over here. Here the 67.47 means our mean. This is our hypothesized mean. Here this is the standard deviation and this is the number of sample. Now this is the answer. It's a 1.231. So as here the alternative hypothesis it is two sided in the given question. So we shall be applying a two tailed test for determining the rejection region at 5% level. So here we are getting the value of Z from the table that is greater than 1.96. So we can say that our null hypothesis is accepted means because the observed value is over here is of 1.231 which is in our acceptance region. So our hypothesis is accepted. Now we will see the next problem. So this is the problem 2 here. Say for example suppose we are interested in a population of 20 individual unit of the same size. All of which are experiencing excessive labor turnover problems. So the past record shows that the mean of the distribution of annual turnover is 320 employees with a standard deviation of 75 employees. And a sample of 5 of this individual unit is taken at random which gives a mean of annual turnover as a 300 employees. So what we have to find is the sample mean Consistent with the population mean yes or no for that we are applying the test at a 5% level. Now this is the solution here taking the null hypothesis that the population mean is 320 employees. Here we can see that population mean is the 320 employee we can say this 20 over here it is given the population. Means number of population is 20. Population mean is 320. Right? So the X is 300 employees. Means mean that standard deviation of population is given. Number of sample is 5 and number of population is 20. Small n and capital N both are given over here. As per the question. So we can apply the second formula. Now this formula we can apply. Now this is our mean. This is our hypothesized mean. This is the sigma 
population of I mean standard deviation of population so the value we get over here is a minus 0 0.67 value we get over here is a minus 0 0.67 so here as the alternative hypothesis is again a two-sided from the question so we can apply two tail tests for determining rejection region now from the normal curve area table we can find the value that is greater than 1.96 again z value is greater so this hypothesis is accepted now we will see the third problem so in problem 3 say for example this is the question the mean of a certain production process is known to be 50 with a standard deviation of 2.5 and the production manager may welcome any change in a mean value towards higher side but would like to safeguard against decreasing value of the mean so he takes a sample of a 12 items means number of sample over here is 12 that gives a mean value of 48.5 so what inference should the manager take for the production process on the basis of sample results so use 5 percent test again here so we can apply the first formula so taking the mean value of population to be 50 so we can write at 0 means our null hypothesis will be 50 but being a case of a finite population what happened the alternative hypothesis should be less than 50 here the given information is the mean is equal to 48.5 the standard deviation of the population is 2.5 and number of sample is 12 so we can apply the first formula here number of population is not given so we have to apply the first formula so this is the values as per the equation now here we are getting the answer that is minus 2.08 so here the alternative hypothesis is one-sided so we shall determine the rejection region applying one tail test in left tail right because it is of a less than type right it's a 48.5 so we can say it's a less than type so using the normal curve area table this value we are whatever value we are getting over here it's rejected means here our null hypothesis is rejected because the z value is less than 1.96 so these are the problems related to z test now in the next video we will see the remaining parametric test thank you dear learners for watching the video